Hello everybody, <clears throat> we're going to hunt for some dragon gems today, uh, the wood version. Um, if you've seen the last video, as you might know, we've got some new transcensions here. The other transcension, aside from Susano, is uh, Hunter King. And I do have him, I'm lucky enough to have him in my box, so definitely want to transcend him as soon as possible. And if you just noticed earlier, my Beethoven uh, had his luck skill show up, the shield, and that was also part of the most recent update. And the cool thing about those things is the higher the luck, the uh, higher percentage it fires, but as you can see even with a 5 luck, a 1 luck, uh, it does come at a fairly decent pace. So, while I wouldn't craft your team around luck skills, it's certainly a nice bonus to have. Uh, and it is featured on drop monsters as well, so the higher the luck you have, the higher the chance that they show up. And for shield, it turns that monster into, I like to call it a scorpion mode, where uh, no matter what hits it, it will reduce it down to one damage. <clears throat> Definitely helpful if you're about to hit, maybe get hit by a laser or even a white blast of death. So if you're lucky, you could survive uh, utter disaster. <clears throat> uh, but for now, uh, the green dungeon features uh, the silver Silvasaurus. And if you noticed that Izanami was taking some extra damage, uh, that is a good eye because he is a deity slayer so you would want to avoid being too many deity types however just the sheer power that Izanami brings uh, I personally think it's worth it and if you want to make your life easier in this dungeon uh, do focus down the bulls as soon as possible they do call down more and I believe they're also the ones that puts up gravity barriers so oh mad shot Match shot, so nice. But of course, because match shot exists, that's why we have those irregular bounces. <laughs> uh, it just means that the uh, the borders of the bosses aren't smooth, so you have something to bump you in the weird way or bump you into a little uh, crevice. All right, uh, we want to get Izanami out of there. And speed clear is of the utmost S importance because uh, the drop rates are pretty horrendous so you want to maximize the amount of chests you can get with this party I have two max lux so if everything goes well that is eight chests in total uh, if you have three other friends you can play with that also have max lux max luck monsters uh, that means you can get up to 12 chests in one run and to be honest that is the ideal way to run it because uh, I have not been uh, graced with luck in grabbing these uh, dragon gems. Uh, I have been stuck on both the first time they were around uh, for each so I was not able to transcend my Susano and I was not able to transcend my Hunter King. And I'm hoping this is the last run. But let's see. We have 14 turns still. Just. Okay, I think I'm not in any worry of not speed clearing. Uh, but as I'm sure some of you may be disappointed that. Uh, Striker was not part of the release. Uh, it was, if we were going in order as JP does, it would have been next on the lineup, but okay. And it does its own thing, so just gotta roll with it. I'm sure it will be coming soon, and if you've seen some of the posts on Facebook or the forums, uh, 
we should hopefully be seeing the last set of ascensions before August or by the end of August I believe it was so uh, if you've been waiting for those I know I have uh, it shouldn't be too much longer for those and it will definitely make the uh, temple run that much that much easier okay so we're on the last floor of this stage um, let's see bunny speeds up yes so uh, let's use him Oh, was not able to kill off the bulls. That's a little bit unfortunate. Should be able to clear them out this round though. Still got eight turns, so. Or not. All right, we'll increase the speed of Beethoven too. Yes. Alright, and we'll have Leah launch her lasers. Let's go. Six hundred thirty thousand, great. And there's no more worry now. The only worry is whether or not. A drop will come. Okay, here we go. It's not too bad. Looks like that took about seven minutes to clear, which is not too much. Oh, there we go. Thank you, local co op box. Alright, so that means I should have enough. So. Let's go straight to the transcension screen. All right, so we go to first, let's make sure to fuse our dragon gems together. In case you think you lost it, don't worry. They're in your fuse and cell box. Uh, there we go, four plus one. Five. And also, don't forget to unlock it. Um, oh, worthless mega fuse. If it's locked, you won't be able to use it as material. So, uh, if you see that you're trying to transcend your monster and it says you're not allowed to, make sure you uh, unlock it. All right, now let's do it. Go to favorites. Anyway, there you are. Slide it over. And. Alright. Ooh, there you have it. A transcended Hunter King. And as you can see, 20, 20 turn strike shot. Strike shot is the exact same, but. Uh, it does gain more damage if you wait four more turns and you got that one-way laser so ideally I would love to get a uh, what was it was it the bump combo berry that'll increase it 34k is a good amount of damage of course the vertical laser one-way vertical laser has sort of lost its way because it does require a little positioning but I personally like it a lot all right well I hope the dragon gems drop for you at a much better rate. Uh, just gotta keep trying and hoping. Until next time.